Welcome back to California Live Podcast. And today we have one of the winners of Miss California International joining us. Hello, Valerie. Welcome to our studio. Thank you so much. Hello, guys. Thank you. So, you're not just a finalist, you're one of the winners. How did it feel? Mm, I'm so proud of myself okay. that I achieved this goal. Um, it was a really good opportunity for me because it was one of my dreams, mm -hmm. like to take part in this type of the event. And yeah, I'm happy. Happiness is good. Now, before the event, which took place on November the 3rd, you had about two months of different trainings. Yeah. Can you please share with us, with our viewers, what you've been doing, how was that, your experience, maybe you had some drama. People <laughs> love drama. <laughs> yeah. And especially we have a lot of drama in beauty pageants, so that's why I'm hoping to get something, you know, juicy today. So, firstly, um, I just met my, like, managers of this event. Uh, firstly, we were talking to each other um, about who I am, from mm -hmm. where I am, my age, how tall I am. After I got my the first dancing classes with the coach Dina, um, and during the first class she asked us like, who had any experience before with the dance, with the stage? And I answered that I had really good experience. I was a dancer for almost 10 years. Really? Yes. What did you dance? I did like Russian traditional dancing, like hip hop. Like hop, 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 hop. Like yes. Like really? And the clapping, yeah. You in can Russian. do that low stance? Yes. Really? We, we did it before, yeah. No, but can you do now? No. Not now, but like... <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. So, okay. yeah, and hip hop, I was traveling around the Rus Russia uh -huh. with a team, mm -hmm. with my coach, mm -hmm. from four years until like 12, 13 years old, yeah. So that's why I wasn't so scary about the stage and the dancing. I felt myself really confident in it. Uh -huh. And during our dancing classes with Adina, um, she put me at the first line. Right. Because she... It wasn't just the first line, it was in the center of the first line. Yes. So yeah, yeah. that was a lot of trust. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For me, firstly, I was like, oh my God, that's... I need to be more responsible for it. That's a good idea. Yes, because uh, during the event, I couldn't see anybody. Uh, I just needed to be confident in myself, mm -hmm. what I do, what I will do, how I'm going to move. Because all of the our contestants, they're really good. Uh, I saw their progress in the dancing. Mm -hmm. um, and during our classes, I was trying to help them uh, to give some advices and they were looking at me so during the practicing uh, one time when I did one mistake in the movement during the dance everybody was yes finally every, everybody repeated oh okay everybody I was hoping for some you know drama <laughs> okay because if I do mistake everybody do this mistake mm -hmm. so yeah that's why before the event before November 3rd I did a lot of practicing without the mirror mm -hmm. uh, and I was trying to practice more and more and more and more to remember every movement, every second of the music. Okay. So, yeah. so with, uh, with Dina, um, you practice some dance moves. Yes. What else? Let's, let's also, share about the, the program. Also in every girl uh, needed to learn how like, to walk their own walk on mm -hmm. the stage. Okay. Uh, we chose our uh, music mm -hmm. for this walk. Um, I was nervous about it. Why? Uh, because, yes, I do modeling, but I have less experience uh, to do really good walking on the hills. Oh, so and you don't do modeling on the hills? I did like fashion shows like two, three times really? in Los Angeles. Okay. Yeah. Which ones? Um, you mean the LA Fashion Week or? LA Fashion Week two times okay. and like 
three weeks ago, I think, San Francisco Fashion Week too. Oh, they have San Francisco Fashion Week. Yes. I didn't know that. Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, How boring was that? <laughs> you know, like in San Francisco, I liked fashion show more than in LA. That's a, that's a big offense. Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm a I'm a I'm an Angelino. I'm a, I'm a from I'm, you know I'm a New Yorker, <laughs> but uh, I'm an Angelino. And that's it. That's it. But back to your story. So uh, so yeah, every girl were trying to learn their own walk. Okay. And I was nervous because Dina every time told me to keep my back straight. I don't know why, but every time for me it was difficult <laughs> to do it. Okay. And we needed. Um, always smile, keep our back straight, uh -huh. a little bit head up, and have a confident, like, smile, walk, and how we look at the audience and the judges. That's how my grandma taught me how to sit and eat. <laughs> with straight back, with nice, <laughs> confident face. Yeah. 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 Did Dina smack you ladies with some, you know, like, a little piece of wood or anything? No? Uh, no, no. <laughs> no. My grandma smacked me, so it worked real well. I really love Dina because she's right now uh -huh. like my uh, older s sister. Okay. You know, I told her that after the event, I really appreciate how kind she is, how strong she is. Uh -huh. So, yeah, she always was so kind to us. And she did a really good job. She did two dances, Barbie dance, the right. first one. Mm -hmm. Uh, we recorded it at the California State Capitol mm -hmm. in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. And the second one, I like the second one more, the e Euphoria. Mm -hmm. Euphoria, that was uh, a yeah. dramatic one. Yeah. Yes, all the girls, we were in the blue outfits, in the mm -hmm. dresses. Mm -hmm. I like this one more because um, it's more... I don't know, like sensual, like, like, okay. Yeah. More emotional. Emotional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For me. And I had more drive in, inside of me, like. So you didn't feel the Barbie dance as good as you did Euphoria. Um, I think the Barbie dance was good too, but, uh -huh. um, I'm not saying I, it's I like bad. more classic dances. Oh, okay. I think so. Okay. That's why. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, you've had Euphoria, you had Barbie, Barbie what else? And uh, Intro Walk, intro walk which what I was else? talking before. Also, we did the um, final walk for all the girls together. Right. Um, we needed to show our, the last walk, to show our poses for the camera. Mm -hmm. Also, Dina coached us how to stand, that we need to keep our ha like hands on the both sides of our body, mm -hmm. not in front, not on the back, mm -hmm. no. Just uh, stay straight, look at the audience, at the judges, and always smile every some time. Good, some, yeah, yeah. some good advice. Yes. During the event, I felt really tired on the heels, <laughs> I can tell you, but um, I kept myself still confident and I didn't show anybody that I feel tired. I think that's what we need to show on the stage. If we're tired, yeah, if we're stressful, we don't ha have to hide it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So we did the final walk. Mm -hmm. Every girl, um, each number, um, after each other, we were walking in the middle of the stage, pose, pose, smile to the audience, and come back. Yeah. And after, yeah, that's it. That's it. So the only prep preparational thing was with Dina, with her dance routines, mm -hmm. two of them, and then you have walk and you have final yeah. walk. That's it. Also, she did some more extra classes for girls. Okay. Um, at the first day, uh, I was at this practice class. Mm -hmm. She told me how to walk on the hills, like... Um, there are different times how we can walk in the hills. It can be slowly, okay. slowly. It can be like a dancing. It mm -hmm. can be more classy. So which one did you choose? Me? Yeah. Like more like the dancing one because uh -huh. during my intro walk, I was trying to do more acting too, like play with my eyes, like with the movements. Okay. 
because I think for intro walk, it's not just a walk, pose, pose, also it's acting. Mm -hmm. I think so, mm -hmm. because we girls need to show our uniqueness. Okay, uniqueness is uniqueness, very important. Yeah. That is true. What else did the executives uh, have for, for the ladies? Also classes with you, Victor, uh, for our speech. Mm -hmm. Stage speech, presentation, yeah. that's what we did indeed. And uh, let's share, but honestly, okay, you don't need to be too kind to me to say <laughs> good things. If you felt badly, please share with, with the audience. How was it? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. I mean, it's, it's important for me as well. <laughs> Um, but it's also good that you could share the experience yeah, with the audience. of course. Firstly, when I met Victor yeah. at the first time, <laughs> I felt a little bit nervous. He's so professional and serious person. Do you me. think I'm intimidating? No, no. Okay, let's get back. <laughs> was I? At the first day, I felt, yeah, nervous. A when, when was that? It was... Um, I can't remember. Me too. Was it at the practice or? I think somewhere, yeah. Do you think it was at <gasps> Dina's part? It was during the when outfits, we were tra outfits right. the, the dresses. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that so day. back to the trainings. Yeah, because I, I saw that he's really confident, professional, and he has really good experience in the life in this area. So for me, at the, from the first days, it was really uh, important to hear uh, and to know more about, like, to know more his advices about his life experience. And I got a lot of new knowledges from him. Um, and when I had my the first class, uh, he gave me some papers, which uh, I needed to read uh, the words, separate words, some dialogues, which can help me with my English because English is my the second language and I live in America just two years. So at the first day I didn't do enough practicing at home, I can tell you, yeah. So the, fir <laughs> the first day you, you didn't know, the first day you came you got the stuff and we started doing cold read. Yeah. So of course you didn't have any... Yeah, yeah. but after um, I was trying to know how to talk, mm -hmm. how to be more confident, mm -hmm. how fast or how slow ha I should talk. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes I did, I did some mistakes in the words. I didn't know how, like I did a lot of mistakes in it. And Victor gave me advices how to say it more correctly. Well, you didn't have so many mistakes. You were, <laughs> you were, you were good. Um, but I, I hope that those exercises which we use, they, they helped you really, on stage. They really helped me because I think when I had two days before the event, the practice, uh -huh. when I was answering the questions and... Uh, was it the, was the, the, was it the practice when you were in the locker, in the, in the, uh, in the, um, in the closet? Uh, you mean like the speech practicing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we had the Zoom training, you were in your closet. Uh, Oh. Do you mean that one? <laughs> With the wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, after that, yeah, I got, it was a really funny story. Yeah. Yeah, I was in my ward wardrobe closet because I have a very big family and it's one place uh, when it can be really quiet. <laughs> in you my you have really good sound <laughs> isolation there, I must say. I couldn't hear anybody. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. I think you had a little kid coming in, checking on you. It's my brother, Roman. Okay. Yeah. The brother is, yeah, yeah. a fun little kid. A really fun so little one. So you practiced um, your stage speech, your diction. You, you sounded way better, uh, you know. And I, I was uh, looking at the judges. They, they understood what you're talking about. Oh, that's good. So that was, that was a good sign. And plus your voice, uh, the way you sounded, it was really smooth. So you did, you did really good um, yeah. practice at home. Yeah. Also my dad, he told me when I did some practicing at home with a speech, how to mm -hmm. talk at the first days. Mm -hmm. And when he heard at the event how I answered the question, mm -hmm. he was like, oh my God, you have really good progress. 
in yeah. your speech, in your confidence, how to talk. Uh -huh. And he's like, yeah, Victor did a really good job. And uh, like, like for to be a coach for me in it. Mm -hmm. And my dad told me that that's good that um, I used your advices because I think uh, if a coach give uh, to people advices and they don't follow it, they will not do any progress. I think so. Well, who knows? Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. So when um, a judge asked me to come and answer the question, um, I didn't feel nervous. I felt really confident. Yeah, I saw that, that and that really pissed me off. <laughs> like, we want some show. <laughs> and Valerie comes out and she's confident and she gives this answer and she's walking left and right and she's like, I own the yeah. stage, fellas. <laughs> I'm like, Ugh. Yeah. I was, I was trying to talk not only with the judge, also with yeah. the audience, right. with the people. Yeah. Because um, they look at me, mm -hmm. they wait for my answer. Yep. I was trying um, to connect with everybody there. You did a good job. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know if you were, uh, you know, looking at the audience, but they were paying attention. And to have all this crowd pay attention to what you talking about, what you do, it's it's really it's a really good result. It didn't happen the whole event because people were distracted. They were running to the bathrooms. They were eating, talking, blah blah blah. But you um, you made them listen. That was a that was a good yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think uh, to make people listen yeah. to me, it's not just speech. Mm -hmm. Also, it's how I'm walking, how confident I walk in the middle uh, of the stage. I tell to judge, thank you. It was a really interesting question for me mm -hmm. to show him that I listened to him. That, um, yeah. And after when I answered the question, mm -hmm. I said thank you again. Of course. Because. That's basic. Yes. Yeah. That's what we need to but do. Not everyone did it. Yes, I was I was surprised. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh -huh. um, but I felt nervous. Okay. Uh, at the start of the event. When Do you mean the VIP reception or you no. mean the actual event? Uh, so the actual, actual How event. How did you feel during the VIP reception when uh, you got to meet the judges? I was really excited. Okay. I was, I don't know, I really wanted to meet them, to okay. talk to them because it's who did you want to meet the most? I think... Excluding me. <laughs> I think Michelle. Michelle. Okay. Yes. Hello, Michelle. <laughs> Hello. Yep. So, yeah. And I talked to her. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your impression when you met Michelle the first time? How did you feel? Mm -hmm. Это ММА, да, все правильно. Все, все я, поскольку мы отрезать будем, постарайтесь здесь не двигать, потому что очень много шуршания идет туда. Ой, а да. это уже обрезать будет сложно. Хорошо. Okay. Давайте я переспрошу вопрос. Поправьте его, чтобы он не терся. Да. А был веселый момент, когда вы выходили на сцену перед началом и вы поправляли платье. Когда? Как смешно это было, блин. Это мы было? Мы с доктором Маровым смотрели. <свят> Давай ржать. Серьезно? <свят> Жемчужно? Да. Я, да мне, так... мне сказала Дина, Лера, подними платье, оно у тебя сползает. Я взяла и подняла. Не, я не говорю, что вы неправильно сделали, просто нам со стороны, мы же не знаем, что а, происходит. Мы видим видела, финальный что... результат. А, я не видел, что это было Это вот так видно. смешно. Серьезно? Right, okay. <свят> so, Valerie, who? Um, что был за вопрос? Кого я хотел больше встретить? Не, не до этого. Давайте начнем с uh, немножко. А про VIP. Да. So Valerie, were you nervous about the actual event or at the VIP reception? I think the event. The event. Yeah. How did you feel about the VIP reception? I was really excited about it. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to meet these people. Who of the judges you wanted to meet the most, uh, excluding me? I think Michelle. Michelle. Yes. Why? 
because uh, a lot of my fr uh, friends they really like karate, kickboxing, like this area, and they were talking about her a lot. That's why I. And now your buddies. <laughs> yeah. Also, I do sports. Mm. Uh, I do work out in a gym, mm -hmm. and uh, that's why. And I'm really proud of her. I was looking at her Instagram, mm -hmm. like which career she has, which um, like she did a really good job. Yeah. So that's why. So do you want to really do you want to try MMA now? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I wanted to visit to visit this event. No, to Does visit and watch, that's one thing. To get into octagon and get your <laughs> butt kicked, that's... <laughs> but I wanted to try myself in it. Really? I, I wanted to know how to fight to protect myself. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, I'll let Michelle know. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's really interesting. And uh, that's good that you mentioned about the workout because Dr. Marwan Shahed, he was with us and he is a professional bodybuilder. And uh, I think that he noticed that you do work out. Yeah. Um, he was uh, pleasantly impressed with uh, with, the, with what he saw, and I don't know if you watched our little interview, which I specially recorded for for the for the mm -hmm. contestants. But that was one of his main criteria: if the person is healthy, is healthy, works out, uh, obviously is smart enough. So <laughs> yeah. that was that was a good thing. So you got two judges definitely signing for you. <laughs> Um, okay, so the VIP reception ended, and good, then yeah. you started with the Barbie dance, Barbie dance, which went through the whole thing. It was really cool. Uh -huh. It was a really cool idea with the limousine. With the limo, yep. Limo, limo yeah. Uh, all the girls, we were going out of this car, and we were, I was walking at the red carpet. Mm -hmm. For me, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. And we were trying to, pre to present people like that we're going on the stage now, that right. we're going to dance now. Mm -hmm. And I saw that a lot of people really were interested in it. That and is true. it was a Barbie dance. So when we were walking on the stage, mm -hmm. we, we said and showed like people like, hi, like a Barbie hands. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was really funny. Um, yeah. It was really cool. But during this dance, I felt a little bit nervous when there was a movement like with the hand in front of me. Mm -hmm. It was really shaking. <laughs> okay. But we I was didn't trying I, yeah, nobody didn't see it, but I felt it. Okay. Because it was the first like minutes at the stage mm -hmm. when everybody were looking at us. Right. But after that during the dance I started feeling myself more confident because You mean after Barbie dance? During during the Barbie during, dance, okay. Yeah, like during the. So process. do you think this, like, um, let's say it's like a warm up? Yes. Right? Yes. Do you think it, it helped because yeah, like a warm up? Yeah, it really helped me because. Cool. That's good idea. That's good to know. It's really good idea also for all the girls mm -hmm. because we were together on the stage. Right. We are a team. Like uh, during mm. our dancing, uh, practicing, for example, we did a really good job. Like a team. I mean. Uh, during practicing the dancing, to give advices to each other, how to move, like how listen to music, you know. That's a that's a very interesting thing that you're saying because the beauty pageant is not a team I event know. or team sport, right? I know, yeah. One wins, and yeah. you have two. You have uh, the first runner up, the second runner up. You have a few other. Yeah. So it's, it's not like a team thing to do, but you're saying that you were all um, like a team. It's like a team, I mean, uh, during our uh, preparing right. with the dancing. Uh -huh. I said it because we gave a lot of advices to each other. We were trying to help each other, like how to move, uh, how, to me, how to be more focused on it. Mm -hmm. And we were trying, um, we, we supported each other. So... Before this dance, uh, we always uh, did like a circle with all the girls. Okay. We put all of our hands together. We were counting one, two, three, and let's go. Okay. It was for me feeling like a team support mm -hmm. because I already really love these girls. Mm -hmm. It's my new friends. Okay. 
because we were together for two months yeah. almost every day that's why i know that it's competition yeah i know that it's not a team during the competition but during the preparing our support and advices it was feeling like a team well that's fantastic so you have a team that's beautiful you have your warm-up dance when you're running out of the limo and everybody obviously taking pictures and, and um, filming now let's try to dive into your first um, performance how did it feel comparing to your um, classes you mean like the first uh, performance during when I was walking on the stage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk? Like you have like the, the first one was the walk. Like the intro walk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first one was walk and then you have the dance, dance, mm -hmm. uh, whatever that was. Intro walk, yeah. how I told you before, mm -hmm. I was nervous uh, because the song uh, was only like one minute. Okay. And I needed to do every my movement. Uh, with the beat? On With the beat right. and the time. Okay. Uh, and the start of the song was a little bit faster mm -hmm. than it should be. Okay. And I couldn't do my the movement. Really? The first two. We did not notice that. Yes, you didn't know and I didn't show it. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was trying just to play with it. And that I was a really good improv. Thank you. And like before one hour, my intro, I mm -hmm. changed my movements a little bit. Um, for example, when I was walking to the stage mm -hmm. in the middle to the okay. judges, closer to them, mm -hmm. instead of just showing my hands, I was I did the kisses. Okay. And when I was walking, every time when I was walking closer to the judges, uh -huh. I was looking at them and smile. Okay. Always. Okay. And after my intro walk. When uh, I walked to the stage, Tina right. told me you did a really gr good job. You kept your back straight. You did like I was showing my smile mm -hmm. all the time. So I was proud of myself that on the stage during that day, I did the best, the best what I can, and I think it was really better than it was during the practicing. Nice. So that little stress actually pushed you to yeah. perform better. Yes. Okay. It gave me more inspiration for it. Oh, okay. That's nice. What about the second um, like the, performance? Uh, I think the it's dance euphoria, right? Euphoria. Yeah. I, in it, I was really confident. How I told you before, I really love this classic dancing. Mm -hmm. This dance has had two styles, like a hip hop, more like drive more fast dancing also it was moving in a more classic and slowly dancing mm -hmm. like two different emotions were okay. in this dance mm -hmm. i felt myself so confident because yes i was alone like in the first line mm -hmm. i couldn't see other girls but for me um i was really happy to stay on the stage right to, and it was a really good opportunity mm -hmm. to be like um, to, like an example for other girls right because I was there alone and they were looking at me mm -hmm. at that moment I felt so proud of myself that I can do it that's really nice yeah and I did a lot of practicing of this dance mm -hmm. Where? That's why I did a. <laughs> that's, that's really a, that's funny. That's a good question. <laughs> I have a really big family. Um, that's that's a long story. It's a long story. Okay. That's yeah, like uh, three more kids in my family. Okay. Plus and two adults. Two adults. Yeah. Plus you. Okay. Plus me. Yeah. You have a football team. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yes. So back to the practice. Yeah. So when I did practicing at home. Mm -hmm. My sister and two brothers, they were looking at me and they were, were trying to repeat these movements. It was really funny. Okay. Yeah. And they already know a lot of movements from this dance <laughs> because I did a lot of practicing at home. Uh -huh. And my dad, he already knows all the songs. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> because I was doing it all, every day. Did you use ear ear uh, phones or? I use it when everybody was sleeping at okay. night. Okay. Well. Yes. Sometimes I did it at night when everybody sleep. What time was that? It's like 11 p.m., 12 oh, okay. p.m. So not, not too late. 2 a.m.? 12 a.m., something like oh, okay. this. But I did it for a long time. Okay. Also for me, it was a little bit di difficult to drive to the dinner, to dinner, to do my intro walk classes, uh -huh. for example. And I did it at home too. Okay. Uh, like in the living room. Okay. It was so funny. Um, it's always, um, I was taking off the mirror from the wall. Um, I put it like to, to another wall because mm -hmm. I needed to see myself, how I walk, how I pose, how I smile. Wow. And I did it, this intro walk, when everybody was sleeping. Wow. It's because it's really crazy to do it when a lot of kids running around you. <laughs> so, yeah. Definitely. That, <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Yeah, I have a lot of memories. How much time? I'm just curious. So you, you have you learned two dances. You have Barbie dance and you have Euphoria. Yes. I'm, I'm just curious. How much time did it take you to memorize both dances? Mm, like one week practicing. Wow. I already knew all the dances. When Dina told us, Next time when you're gonna come to my class, you need to d know this part. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay. For me, I feel really bad if I come to the class mm -hmm. and like don't know like the dance. Oh, okay. I feel really nervous and bad about myself mm -hmm. that I'm not responsible mm -hmm. about it. And also I stay in the first line, mm -hmm. so I, I need to know Right. Everything. Right. Yeah. So for me, it was pretty easy because I had a, an experience before when I lived in Russia. So yeah. Makes sense. The next, um, the next contest. How did it feel? How did it go for you? So after a four-year dance. Yeah. It was interview. Yep. The questions. The questions. Yeah. yeah. It was pretty much like how I told you I will. I felt so confident because... Did you have a moment before you were asked the question? Did you have a moment of nervousness or not at all? I felt a little bit uh, when we, all the girls mm -hmm. were saying in a line. Okay. And the judge were talking about something. Right. But I don't know what happened to me at that time. I was like in my own world. Right. And I couldn't understand what he told me. Okay. Like to, uh, what he said to all of us. Okay. That but was a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But when he said. You mean Dr. Maren Shahid, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And when he said number two, I was I woke up. Okay. I was like, okay. Dr. C, that was a good. That yeah. was a good. I woke up. I was like, okay, it's me. I need to. I need to go. Valeria, wake up. You need to do it. I just came there, answered the question, said thank you, and come back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you can share a little bit of, uh, I know you felt confident, but did you have any other feelings, any other thoughts, emotions, when you were answering, when you finished answering? Was it like, oh, I made it, or? Yes. I was like, oh my God, Valeria, you did it. I was looking at my dad. He, w he, okay. he was staying and recording a video of me and he showed me like a finger up. Okay. And I felt more confident mm. that I did it. Okay. Be th uh, thank you to my dad's support. So That's yeah. fantastic. That it's, yeah. it, was, it was really important. And I was looking at the judges. Mm -hmm. They were smiling and at the audience and okay. I saw their reaction. Yep. And after that, I was like, yes. I did it. Mm -hmm. I did what I could. Mm -hmm. I did really good preparing for it. Okay. So, yeah. Well, great job. And <laughs> the last, uh, the last piece. I think what was that? That was uh, a gown. The fourth uh, contest. Uh, like the crown, like. Um, the the gown walk, no. When we were, everybody was staying in the line. The final one, the final with the final dresses. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This one. Mm -hmm. I felt. That time I felt really nervous because mm. uh, when they told us to go on the stage, 
I was like, oh my god, so soon we will know the, the results. And I didn't know who is going to be the first, the second, the third, you know. I was confused about it. Nicoletta, she's really good. Um, during our pre like preparing time, mm -hmm. dancing speech, we communicated with each other mm -hmm. a lot. Okay. Uh, because I already felt that she's really good in it. Mm -hmm. Um, we were sha sharing to each other some advices too. Mm -hmm. She's that person with who I was talking much more, I think. Okay. Yes. That's interesting. Sh we still, after this competition, we still communicate with each other. Beautiful. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody, yeah. But mostly with Nicoletta. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because I feel just uh, her like... Uh, personality, how she's talking, mm -hmm. her hobbies, mm -hmm. it's like mine. Really? Yeah, because... For example? She, for example, she has education m marketing. Right. I'm in a college, an American River College right now. Um, my uh, major there right now, marketing too. Okay. So, she did dancing too before. Really? Okay. And al also... She knows a lot of uh, makeup artists here. Mm. Like we are in one area, and okay. we under understand mm -hmm. it. So yeah, and like a person, she's really kind. And when I talk to her, I understood if she has a goal, she should do it. Like this me. is what this is what. A lot of people with Romanian blood have, they yes. are like go-getters. Yeah. You know, when Romania joined the European Union, it was unbelievable for everyone, but they did it really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I get it. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So you had your gown. Everyone loved your gown. Um, you walked, you felt nervous. And then when you finished the fourth uh, contest, how did that feel? Did you feel relieved? Did you feel more nervous? Uh, what was happening? I felt less nervous because mm -hmm. I was thinking, judges already know the answer. I was you like, wish. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. In order to get the, the answer for <laughs> me, because I was calculating, it was like racing, running, and doing math at the same time. So no. We didn't know. <laughs> yeah, because with Nicoletta, how I found out after that we we were really close to each other. Yep. To win, like for me also the first place. Yep, yeah. that is very true. So yeah. It it might be you know, I have a question. It might be if you don't like it, just don't answer. Um. You were very close with Nicoletta. You were going up, then she was going up. It was like you know, very, very close. But she got the, the first place. How do you think why? Maybe somewhere she did more, more practicing, mm -hmm. maybe preparing. Mm -hmm. Maybe somewhere uh, mm, we both did a really good job. You did, yeah. That really is really good job. We spent a lot of time for preparing. Mm -hmm. mm, also, I was thinking that she has like more experience in life. Also, okay, yeah. that's one of the reason too. Mm -hmm. She knows more English. She has already her really good education, right. job. Mm -hmm. She's really smart. Mm -hmm. And she did really good job in intro walk. I was looking at her. I really love her song for her intro walk. It's okay. super dry. It's more like right. so emotional. Yeah. It's one of my favorite ones was too. Okay. So when she got the first place, I felt like um, I was really proud of her because mm -hmm. she did really good job too. Did you feel jealous? Me? Um, Let's be honest. A little bit, of okay. course, because I think when both persons they did, bec bec 
you know why Elite was jealous? Because you can be we, honest. We had like like small differences but you didn't in know. the results. But you didn't know. I didn't know at that time. Yeah. yeah. But after when I found out that we had a really like small differences, I was yeah. like, oh my god. And after that, I didn't give up. I was like, I can I can do more. I can do more. Well, definitely, to definitely. Get the first and be the best. Right. So for me, um, every people has uh, like the events, days, bad time. But every time when people go down, mm -hmm. they do more progress. That is true. Well, so it wasn't going down. There's, I know. That was the winner. You have one, two, three. They are yes. the winners. You know, uh, since we're talking about being jealous, uh, when I saw the gifts, when I saw the jewelry, I felt jealous too. I told Sergey, maybe, you know, we can change the program a little bit so we can also compete. Because that was really, y y you ladies got really beautiful pieces of jewelry. Yes. Uh, Did you try to sell it? No, no, I don't want because I really like jewelry. Okay. I don't have a lot. So for well, now me, you do. Right now, because yes. you won, you are the first runner-up, and also you have another title, yes. which you won. That was, uh, I think, it was Miss Congeniality, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you have two pieces of jewelry. You have. Yeah, good I already, baggage. I already have it. Yeah. yeah. And I have earrings. Yeah. I got it too. I already checked it. It's really good. Yesterday, I already tried some of them. The silver one, with the stones. It's so beautiful. Yeah. So thank I'll, you so I'll much. I'll confess. I'll confess. We tried them too. <laughs> when we, because we went to the uh, Sharif and um, we filmed a commercial there, and uh, we had them interviewed and talking about the jewelries and stuff, and we're like, "Oh, that's really beautiful. <laughs> like, uh, I want to have it." But then I remember I like Rolex better, so yeah. like, let it be. Also, I really like the crown. Crowns are crown. amazing. Do you want to yeah. show it to the audience? Yes, of course. Okay, so <laughs> let's see. What is the story about the crown? It has, so my dress for my final walk right. had a lot of uh, pearls. Pearls, yeah. My dress for the final walk had a lot of pearls. And after, when I was driving home, after the event, I took off my crown, I was looking in it, and it has pearls here too. I was like, and wow, you do it's know really it's good match, and I didn't know. But you do know it's Swarovski? Yes. Okay. I know that's for me. It's really. I don't know. I don't know how to describe this feeling. Right. It's a wear like Swarovski crown. It's like wow. <laughs> because did you did you also know that usually uh, on these beauty pageants the the girls they get the crowns, but after it's gone they they're taken away and the same crown. Really. Yeah. But the the executives decided to. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Give it to Just you keep ladies. It. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I already checked it. That's really good. That I bet, I for bet. us, it's really good gift for girls because it's really good memory, and that's what I did for to win. So yeah. Yeah. So now you are. I, I can try it. Yeah, go ahead. Go want. ahead. Yeah, I think our viewers would love that. Looks phenomenal. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Valerie, you got your title, you have two titles, you got your prizes. Now, what are your plans? What do you plan to do with the title? And what do you plan to do with your career? So now I already developing my project for my followers, mm -hmm. for girls and guys who mm -hmm. want, wanted to be model and develop like me. Mm -hmm. Because just for one year, um, like one year ago, I didn't have anything. I didn't have a lot of friends okay. or I didn't know a lot of people like right now mm -hmm. and a lot of my followers, friends ask me how I do it, mm -hmm. how I feel confident. That's why I wanted to share it with people, okay. how I 
did all this way and I took part in this event and it can give people more inspiration mm -hmm. to know more how I did all this way okay. of my career. Also, I wanted to take part and help and show my initiative in volunteer work here mm -hmm. because I think it's really important. Right. I um, as Miss California International, for us, mm -hmm. for me, um, we need to show that we got this title, not just for the crown, not just to show that we're beautiful, no, we need to show what we can to do, right. not just say right. our actions. Right. Yeah, and by this way, I meet new people mm -hmm. like you, like Sergey, Alisa, our like managers of this event. And by this way, I can find out more information about the volunteer work. What can I do? How can I help? Mm -hmm. Because people wait for it. Right. I know it. Yeah. I that wanted. I wanted to do this world better. That sounds really nice. Do you have a Hollywood dream? Hollywood? Yeah. Yes. So, I wanted to try myself more in acting. Okay. Well, more. Well. Um, I wanted to take part in uh, movies, in uh, like short filming, something like this. Mm -hmm. um, I already was in a Hollywood fashion show there, but I you mean LA fashion show? Yes. There. It's not Hollywood fashion show. But but it was in Hollywood area, right there. Well, duh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I wanted to know more um, how to change my emotions in front of the camera, how to, to be confident and while, for example, if I have some stressful things in my life, right. How just to turn it off and do acting. So. That's interesting. Yeah. And. Um, do you follow any of Hollywood actors, or actresses, careers? Do you look at, look up to to someone? Oh yeah, like everybody know, uh, like Angelina Jolie, for example. Okay. Um, some Russian actress. I know her name. Her name is Alexandra Sasha. She's Russian. That's a pretty rare but, name. But she take part like in a lot of um, like American movies. I forgot her last name, but that's good. You know her first name. Yes. It'll be easy to find because there's only one Alexandra. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, when I look at the people who are, for example, immigrants, who they, for example, they didn't know the language. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of them they have accent like me, okay. but they achieved really good job mm -hmm. in uh, this career of okay. acting. So yes, I have accent, but yeah, sometimes I can do some mixed dates, but I can do more practice, practice, practice. I can. That's do a better. that's a very interesting thing because a lot of people feel or think this way. Oh, I have an accent, and maybe I'm not as good. But look at Arnold Schwarzenegger. Thick accent, <laughs> big movie star. Yeah, it's really unique. A lot of people, uh, like Hollywood photographers is about and videographers, uniqueness. yeah. A lot of people tell me that they really love my accent. Okay. Uh, and when I hear it, I'm like, yes, it Enjoy. makes me unique. So, yep. yeah, why not? That's a really good point because, you know, when I came to Hollywood back in 2015, um, I was at the red carpet of a it was an international film premiere, something, whatever that was, I can't remember, but um, we had a few folks and there was a producer who was, you know, experienced in life. Mm -hmm. I don't know, he was pretty, probably 80 something. And he said that a lot of people, they are um, scared of their accent, but actually when you are in this pool of actors from, from America with American English, this is what makes you different. Yes. And if you practice your English and it's fluent, you you have 
uh, two points versus one only English because you speak your language, yeah. you speak English, which is good, mm -hmm. uh, and you have an accent which makes you different. Yes. So it's actually, if used well, if you know developed well, it's actually an advantage. But a lot of people would feel, oh, it's a disadvantage. Yeah. So it's a good thing that you know that. And people can remember me because uh, when I travel to Los Angeles for photo shoots, for fashion shows, mm -hmm. every time when I meet them again, okay. They're like, oh, I remember you, Valerie, like, like yeah, Russian girl. Name? Yeah, yeah, I remember you, like your accent, like your smile. Okay. So every time, every time when I meet people, mm -hmm. I'm trying to make myself, uh, um, like, to make people remember me. Right. That's a really good That's thing. That's a really good thing in, for our career if yeah. you wanted to achieve more goals. Yeah. That's very true. Well, we'll pause our episode today. That was a lot of fun, and I know you are a great storyteller, so we'll continue our, our conversations in the next episode. Let's have your advice, or let's have three pieces of advice from you as Miss California International winner, as model actress, to those who are thinking about something that you do. Your three pieces of advice to them. So firstly, um, if anything bad is going on in your life, um, you don't like you're alone or something else, just don't give up. Because when people they think, oh my God, I don't have friends, uh, have bad relationships with their parents, for example, they think that they can't do anything. People think that they can't change it. We can. If you want, you can do it. Just find your way, find your inspiration where you feel yourself uh, free. Just, just do it. And every time smile. If something happened, smile. Every time. It really helps me. So, yeah. Well, thank you. That's what that was really, really coming. nice. And I do believe it works. It worked for me. <laughs> so it will definitely work for you. Thank you, Valerie. That was a pleasure. Yeah. yeah. And thank we'll you, see Victor. you thank in you. our next episodes. Thank you.